hello friends welcome back to my channel it's your girl alice aka that gilly chick so guys this is the part two the continuation of the zuto gilly style we started some few days ago so sit back watch learn and enjoy so in the part two i'll be showing you guys how i'm going to attach the other the upper parts of the gilly which we're going to use to create our fan in the part two i showed you guys i showed you guys the measurements how we cut this down how we created our v we attached our plaster we attached the back the flap at the back to cover the hair and right now in the part two i'll be showing you guys how attach the, uh, the upper part of the utu gilly which is to create the fan and i'll be showing you guys how to create the fan how to sew out the fan and all the finishing um all the finishing you need to know guys so if this is something you're interested in watching learning stay tuned to my channel sit back watch learn and enjoy and do go ahead hit on the subscription button to join the family if you have not subscribed yet yes please subscribe guys like this video and share this video with someone guys enjoy the rest of the video This is the middle. So you mix the so guys i'm done attaching the other the upper parts so this is it so it's halfway you guys you're going to sew it halfway so right at the middle you stop so now you're going to go down to your mannequin head and start tying you guys pardon my mannequin this mannequin has been with me forever like this is part of the first mannequin i purchased when i started doing this business it's like i think five six years ago i think they up to six years and trust me it's my children my children will literally climb this thing and be pushing it like moto vroom, 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 and that's how they know god <laughs> god affected guys so and um, so just concentrate on what i'm doing forget about the mannequin face it's so pretty though so right now you just start tying your baby you start as if you're creating a round so you pick like three pleats as if you're picking around like normal normal picking you're picking equally on each side so now once you're done with the third one you start slanting to create the fan so you see by slanting you pick a little at the front which is where your hand your that your hand is at the middle so then you pick bigger sizes towards the end see that and then you keep doing that you pick the others you now take your time you see that and pick 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 and arrange these parts you see what i'm doing you take your time arrange it then you keep slanting slants pick small down pick up that is just the procedure we are going to be doing all through until you exhaust your fan. Please make sure that this um, fan goes all the way to the back of the mannequin head. All the way around to the back. Let it not start halfway. It will to become half fan. But this is a full fan. So it should go all the way. You see what I'm saying? Just keep watching guys. So guys, if you've watched this video to this point and you have not subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Please go ahead. Support your girl support your girl subscribe to my channel share this video with someone like this video if you haven't guys let me hear your thoughts concerning this video like it down in the comment section if you have any question 
just write it down in the comment section guys and i forgot to mention that guys this is actually a requested video i've been doing videos on all kinds of auto gilly with mostly with ashoki but someone requested that please can't you just go ahead and do one tutorial with an um with a sego gilly and voila here we are we have a sego gilly so. tutorial so please do go ahead and watch share this video and i hope you find it useful so you see what i was saying i said you should try to make sure your fan reach all to the way to the back of the neck of the mannequin head that is what i'm trying to do make sure it is on top of the plaster at the back like are you getting me guys just keep watching you understand so guys i'm done with the other side of the fan so look at what i'm doing right here because i'm not creating or like the regular kind of fan so look what i'm going to do I'm just going to like create like an ease effect by this side and this is what I am doing. Just watch guys, you understand. So guys i must say that it is a very good um it would be a good idea for you to learn how to tie gilly if you want to achieve a perfect auto gilly like you want a perfect outcome so do go ahead and check out my videos on how to tie gilly to enable you to help you learn how to tie gilly so that your auto gilly will come out perfectly by the time you are about to start this um tying process so right now we're going to the next process which is tacking with our needle and thread you guys just watch carefully the technique i'm using to tack this sego gilly sego gilly can be very difficult to work with because sometimes the fabric is usually hard but luckily this particular one is not as hard as i was thinking it should be but please be careful with your hand if you're working with sego gilly that's why i charge i really charge a lot for this gilly style for this particular sego gilly because there's a lot of work you can end up injuring your hands you can end up sustaining an injury in your hand like i cannot count the number of time i've pressed my finger doing this that's even with the fact that this is not even a thick one so please charge well charge you well <laughs>
I will stop this part. So, one, two, three. So guys, you can see the procedure I'm using to tack. No magic, like just watch carefully. You understand, guys. Do not forget to go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Click on the notification bell to get notified each time each time I upload a video. I have a lot, lots of tutorials on Auto Gilly. You can check out my channel. You can see a lot of it, guys. And subscribe, guys. Share this video, like this video, guys. So you see how I'm going to sew. I'll pick one sew down. Pick one sew down. That's how I keep sewing so that your fan will not be gathered together in one place it will not become flat so you pick one take your needle down come back pick the other one take your needle down so that's the process that's how you tack your fan So finally you guys i'm done with tacking oh like once i'm done with this process i'm so happy like i feel like i'm done with my auto at this stage so right now you place it on your mannequin head or rather place it on your head just to have an accurate uh, measurement and then you join the two hands together so exactly where the two hands meet that's where you cut out the excess so i'm going to cut out the excess and when i'm done i'll use the same excess as the strap for the hand that we'll be using to tie so like are you getting me so is this excess that i'm cutting out now that i'll use to attach to the hand just watch you understand what i'm saying So guys this is my excess that hand that i cut out so instead of it being a waste i'm going to use it to attach the hand so but if you're thinking like what's the measurement i use you can just measure out 12 inches length then the width should be probably around um let's say six to seven inches that's the wideness so this is it and i'm just going to go ahead and start sewing it down look at the technique i'm going to be using like if you have been watching my auto gilly tutorial you should be familiar with this method by now because this is the method we use to attach all the hand the strap of our um of our utugili guys so just keep watching you put the wrong side facing you and then the right side facing down and you're going to tack it you're going to tack it all the way around and around and around in and out in and out round so that by the time you're done you flip it over the right side will be showing like on the right hand you see that so are you getting me guys <laughs> just enjoy the rest of the video guys
so beautiful people this brings us to the end of this tutorial i hope you enjoyed it and i hope you find this useful do not forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't guys like this video and share this video with someone thank you for watching comment down in the comment section let me know what you think of signing this video did i try do you like it is it detailed enough do you want to see more and more videos like this guys i'm actually working from home that's why you see your girl looking all relaxed looking oh <laughs> sleeping <laughs> in my comfort zone you know all right guys <laughs> forgive my manners but your girl is happy i'm in a good mood so why not spread the good mood i hope it's it becomes contagious that everybody out there feels happy like i do all right guys thank you for watching see you guys next time on another interesting video i remain your one and only that gilly chick signing out now Bye bye